We're back? Yes. Ah! We the internet's still a thing. Here. No. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> think so. This is real life now. <laughs> Great. I'll hmm. have to find a new Real escape. life or battling fiddlesticks with nothing? No, this is I real life I think I'll take now. fiddlesticks. <laughs> fiddlesticks Better than is our real reality. Life. Perfect. <laughs> Who would like to recap what happened last? Uh, fuck if I remember. All I remember is, uh... Crows. I killed some crows. We all uh, killed some crows. Uh, Artoria... Birdies killed crows with fire. Artoria, uh... Murdered crows. Murder the murder. Murder the murder. <laughs> yeah. And definitely murder the murder. Wait, who? Me and Peyton kind of said that at the same time. Yeah, no, so you're all taking the three points of psychic damage. Uh -huh. No! Yay! Am um, I coming in? Where yeah, are you? You are now. Finally. Hello. Okay. That only knocked off three temporary hit points. We short rested. I'm good. I remember that much. We saw fiddlesticks. He went swoogity boogity boo up a wall, and he reminded us some of us of our emotional traumas. <laughs> yeah. What is emotional trauma? I don't know. All I know is no fear. one. He <laughs> rest. Yes, we, we, we got uh, pants shittingly afraid. Um, Good thing Arcs wore the brown pants today. Give <laughs> <laughs> me my brown pants! Uh, everybody <laughs> went into the magical house except for Varys. Uh, magical the spooky house. guy who was... Magical doorway, gateway oh, place. Oh, right. The, the mansion. That's not a mansion. That. Yes. Martin's magical mansion. Yes. <laughs> that thing. Yeah. Uh, time and... was frozen for an extra twenty-four hours. Well, for you guys uh, as Riffin well. showed up being his normal insane self. Oh yep. And told us that we have to be happy. And Prudence was like, "Do you have any idea how hard that is?" Um. Yes. <laughs> and. Uh... What is Time got happening? dilated. I think we had 24 hours. You have 24 hours. Within a, a, however long. I forget the... It was one second. It turned into 24 hours. And uh, Prudence and Rustlin made a uh, revivif re revivify gauntlet. Something like that. And uh... Amulets. I think they, they were essentially... I thought they were supposed to be gauntlets. But either way... They, oh, it's because uh... I called it the Guardian Amulet. Okay. So, uh, we made one. Prudence wanted to kill herself to make sure it worked, but got talked out of it. Um, then made for others, which I think took up, uh, like three hours total or something like that with the amount of people that was working on it. So we had some hours left to, to spare. Oh, that's right. Arx was being, uh, yeah... Elusive douchebag, as usual? Yes. <laughs> Actually, that was the correct terminology that I was looking for. <laughs> I. Oh yeah, I wanted to commune with Excellent. the Raven Queen. Yes, you did. So we will get into that now, as you oh. all have your 24 hours. Save for one of you. Not, I was going to say not all of us. <laughs> uh, which means that... Well, within the three hours, I still would have had the temporary hit points, and after the 24, those go away. So, who is doing what? Eno spoke up first. Communing with the Raven Creed, are you? Oh, God! <laughs> That's our year of it! Roll, roll a religion check. Uh, do I want to trust Dice Master, or do I want to trust my own dice? <laughs> I don't know. I'm starting. To... I don't know why it took me so long to not trust roll twenty and its dice, but uh. I still trust roll twenty and its okay, dice. Okay, I have a plus 
Oh, I actually have a. Oh, my religion's actually at that bad. Oh, God, where my day? There you go. <laughs> I flew. I flew. <laughs> I just kind of yeeted my dice out of my hand. Well, that's what you're supposed to do with them. No, it's like I was mid They can't it. roll. See, no, this is fate telling you give yourself over to the robot overlord that is roll 20. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing loaded on my screen. I'm gonna reload it. Oh, not great. <laughs> 14? Okay, what what do you say in your prayer? Um. My lady, I'm not sure if you can hear me considering time is frozen, but I don't know why you brought me back. I you know as well as I know that I probably am undeserving of a second chance. But whatever you saw in me to grant me this I will do everything in my power to make sure that this gift, your trust, doesn't go to waste. Your feelings reach out into the ether. And though you do feel some connection to your patron, you do not feel a, a reply to your words. Fair enough. Prudence wanted to work on her puzzle box. Okay. The, uh... Roll an arcana check. Okay. Rolling. Big numbers. Apparently my d20 went missing. I'll use this one. Yeah. Uh. Ooh. 24. Okay. You get started on it. Um, the basic crafting construct, uh, construct you get through fairly quickly. It's a basic puzzle box as you start. Um, the steps for enchanting may take longer. <coughs> simply because this is fairly new in terms of what has already been pre-established and created uh, in terms of magical items. But you get a very healthy start on it and have the actual orb that is the puzzle box uh, created. Cool. Next. Who else has things they need to do? Uh, I do, but I need a moment to figure out how to word it. Within the confines of the mansion, there's not a ton Artoria can do other than help others with what they need. So otherwise, she <laughs> would be probably drinking and training and just trying to take her mind off of recent events. Make a wisdom saving throw, Doria. Oh no. Oh no. You do oh, not get no. your aura for this. Okay, so an eight. Oh yeah. You uh you find yourself struggling through training. You find yourself struggling even while you're drinking to quell your mind. To make the images that you saw when you faced that creature vanish. And the more you think about it, the more those images start to clarify in a way that you do not want. 
Hmm. As, she, as her thoughts like start like spiraling down, she just like gets more and more aggressive in her training. Just her way to combat it is to attempt to just keep getting more and more violent with poor training dummies. You start to see images in your head of creatures that you're unsure of what they are. Long, lanky, large things without faces, just mouths. You see uh, these long, worm-like creatures that burst forth from the ground and devour people whole. You see creatures that look like elk, except they their limbs are long and pointed at the end, and they lift onto their hind legs and skewer men alive. You see yourself standing and leading them. Punching the training, training a dummy harder and harder and harder. Who else has something they wish to accomplish? <coughs> Arx does. Okay. He is going to cast Banish on himself. Okay. And just to go home shortly. You cast the spell and you appear within the frozen tundra that is the winter of the Feywild. So he, he appeared in the tundra? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thought process was as he would appear in the castle itself, but okay. You just kind of appear in <laughs> the dimension <laughs> choose where. That's more, <laughs> plane, that's more like a plane shift. Mm. But the howling gales and the sheets of white that come pouring all around you are while bitterly cold, are also comforting. It's It's a Surrounding you're familiar with. Out in the frozen tundra area, he's going to call out for his queen. As you raise your voice, call out, I want you to make a wisdom saving throw. Them save 15. You reach out uh, with both your mind and your voice, and feeling that cold around you, you try to make that connection. For a brief moment, there is a flash in your mind of red and twisting limbs, and you open your eyes almost in shock, and you see around you it is not cold and frost and ice and heat and sand and sun. There is no there is no winter around you. There is no cold. Everything is hot and dry. And your mind flashes again. And you're once again standing in a snowstorm. I 
as soon as the heat in the desert had basically been what he was seeing, he would have dropped the banishment spell to He'd reappear re back in his room. Reappear back in the room, panting. You move and you see grits of sand fall from your clothing. He'll reach down and press his finger into some of the grits of sand, actually making sure that they are actually Oops. there and real. You touch them, and your hand goes through the grits, through the small pile of sand that has fallen off of you. And then it's gone. In his room, he'll call up for his queen again. Make a charisma check. Straight charisma check? Straight charisma. 22. Uh, you call out, and your sword appears in front of you, just hovering in the air before you. He will reach out and touch it, quietly saying, my queen, I am not sure what to do. We are facing a foe that I do not understand. One that... I do not think that we can defeat. It preys on us. Makes it... Difficult. I remember your previous words, and I heed them. To fight. To protect. But I do not feel that we can protect against this without help. What would you have me do? Grant me your guidance. As you hold the sword, You watch as from your fingertips, from your palm, the ice that made up the sword turns brown and solidifies. You watch as the shard of ice becomes a hunk of wood. You watch as the tip sprouts branches, leaves extending from it. Then turning red and orange and yellow. You see even some purple leaves. Does he recognize this at all? You do. You know that this is a symbol of autumn.
as you process what you're seeing, trying to figure out what the message is that you're being sent, the tree branches start to wither, the leaves all fall from it, and slowly but surely the sword refreezes into its original form. Okay. Um. Out of character, I'm assuming that this is in reference to the Autumn Court. However, mm -hmm. I don't know how much Arx actually would know the Autumn Court other than you would know enough generalities. That... You would know enough to know that the symbol is relative to the Autumn Court. That you've had very few interactions with them, if any. Fan! Sorry. So, uh, you wish for me to seek the Autumn Court, then, my queen. Seek them for assistance. How so I do so in this land. Sword almost glows in response to your question. There's a sheen. Yes. Where must I go? As you ask, there is a dripping from the base of your sword. Water starts to trickle out from the pommel. Is it leading in any particular direction? No, nope, it's just dripping down. Roll a nature check. <sighs> Not good. Eight. That's actually enough. Um, as you watch the water drip, you reach down with a finger and place it in the water and it's warm. Lift your finger and place it in your mouth and it's briny. I don't think Arx would actually know much about the ocean. I still do not understand. I will seek to do so. You hear uh, a voice in your head. 
trust your allies. And then the sword vanishes back into the demi-plane in which it holds itself. As you wish me. Hugs will stare at the small puddle for just a few moments longer. And then... I think he would rest after internalizing. Does anyone else have anything they'd like to accomplish? Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> so, first question, um, did, uh, words, where did they go? Um, have we all already attuned? Oh, yeah. uh, that item does not need attunement. Oh, shit. If I told you it did, I was mistaken. Well, already. Even it did, it only takes an hour. And... Yeah. <laughs> I just wasn't sure if I had to, like, say that I was attuning or not, but I guess not. Okay. <laughs> um, second, in, in this little pocket that we're in does does resting still do anything or or does like resting not regenerate uh spell slots no you can rest okay so i am going uh to <laughs> now that I know that. Kind of fuck? Okay. I mean. <laughs> the question is, is who? Are you finally getting in on the Martin action? <laughs> Arturi, you hear banging at your door. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, um, okay. So, wait, uh, different chance. Um, 25 words. Okay. Uh, for... Uh, okay, we'll cast Sending. Okay, make an intelligence check before you cast the spell. Okay. Um. Um. <laughs> A three. Okay. Uh what do you, what do you say? Um <laughs> uh, Okay. 
Okay. Uh, so it's going to say, um, uh, it's Rosalind. I, I'm going to be heading into battle soon, but I will return home. Uh, I love you, and by the way, we have four children now, and I stole them. Okay. Um, so your message is delivered in less than a millisecond, because 24 hours for you is, is a second for anyone on the other side of this particular demiplane. Yes. So there is no response. That's fine. <laughs> and they probably did not understand the... That was your message. Oh, wait, so... It wait, basically what? sent it all over... All of that message over the fraction of a second. Oh, okay. That's not at all how I thought it... They heard, a very, they heard a very small and brief... Possible headache. They just what? experience words in light speed. Uh, in which case, I guess Russell will just double check, triple check, quadruple check all of his... Uh, armor and gear and will But Rustlin uh, does not know that. So Rustlin thinks that the spell cast perfectly fine. Mm hmm Yeah, that's fine. Um Didn't you get my text? He would realize that that like he wouldn't get a response though. Because that was specified. But um uh yeah so he's gonna check his gear and will try to pass the time uh a, playing with the rats, and B, I, rapping, I know there's technically a word for it, but we'll be, uh, like, wrapping, um, fine rope around, uh, individually, two of the, the dragon teeth, um, to make necklaces. Okay. Uh, make an animal handling check. Um, where did my die go? It's over there. <laughs> nope, nope, a little further to the left. <laughs> you were actually right. <laughs> so, uh, of course I was. For the record, we have the guardian amulets now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'll add that to my amulet. <laughs> Uh, got a 20 for animal handling. Okay. Uh, you start to befriend the rats. I love these rats. <laughs> they squeak. Endlessly. Even better. I'm so excited for you to be on a boat with four rats. Mm. With a boat full of snake people. Oh no. <laughs> I'm glad Rutland's a big body that can fit rats in armor. <laughs> See, I just had a finding Nemo moment there. Rats are friends, not food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited for you to be on the boat for like weeks, constantly like recounting rats over and over. <laughs> Yay. Russell makes it to the makes it to the Serpent Isles, just in the fetal position, rocking four rats around him in the cardinal directions. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. <laughs> oh, we're gonna rely on Russell to be at the helm. <laughs> Russell, please, yeah. can you drive the ship? I can't. I need to count the rats again. <laughs> <laughs> Rosalind was supposed to be happy. I am happy. <laughs> <laughs> we're fucking have to like craft one of those fucking 
rat pouches, but like have it have four pockets so I can just individually look down and be like, all right, that's four rat heads. <laughs> just a bandolier, but like with a little sat instead of like <laughs> like bombs or something strapped to it. It's just a little hidey hole. <laughs> I, I, I'm so I'm so excited that, that there's an opportunity for me to just say, you count three rats and a snake. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> two days later, you count two rats and a snake. <laughs> you count two rats and two snakes. <laughs> and on the third day, there were no snakes and two rats. <laughs> God. <laughs> Which one? And a bloody rustler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Russell's gonna genocide of people because they killed two rats. <laughs> oh Russell's gonna know. sink the entire ship. <laughs> I mean, like, y'all fuckers can, can freaking swim a you know, water walk. We're in the middle of the open ocean. You killed my rats! <laughs> now we all go down! <laughs> I hope I were fly by then! <laughs> Victoria has a long walk ahead of her. <laughs> I mean, you're fine. You're fine, Gregor. You don't need to breathe. <laughs> but there are things in the ocean I'd rather avoid. Big <laughs> oh, fucking is. creature. <laughs> Just walk on the bottom. <laughs> that actually leads me to a question. I think I know the answer to it. No. But Arx has seen Merfolk. If he shapeshifts into a Merfolk, would he be able to breathe underwater? You do not know how their gills work. That's what I thought. I figured I would ask, though. If you <laughs> autopsied one, you could probably figure it out. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, so everybody the, keep an eye on arcs <laughs> before the 24 hours is up arcs would like to exit and go murder merfolk and autopsy them <laughs> and then we come out immediately behind you because the second you step out there to the second pass <laughs> now that you bring that up what the fuck happened whenever he banished himself <laughs> oh <laughs> Because you weren't on the, no, you were out no, of the that, plane. That, ac that actually brings up a very valid point. So you were only gone for like 30 seconds. Right, but he banished himself to a different plane of existence. Don't don't make me the world has moved on thousands of miles away from you and you're caught in the dead set in the dead center of space. <laughs> don't make me do this What's to a character. It's the Feywild. It's the Feywild. Don't, don't question don't question time this way. <laughs> Well, I mean, we had made the discussion earlier about the Feywild does have a different. Feywild is a wildly different way of time. Yes, you're fine. Okay. Fey have an, a, a a haphazard view of how time works. So in this particular instance, that haphazard time of view happened to line up. Because of Ripley. we're good. Time. Being haphazard. <laughs> Assumedly, yeah. one of the Archfey could just say, oh, he's about to do something very stupid with the magic I gave him, and, like, just pause everything for a moment. Well, I mean, in this particular case, it would be the Winter Queen, but yes. Yeah, she's an Archfey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She um... gets to do things like that. Okay. Wait, wait, he's doing what? Wait, hold on. Someone's already fucked with time. <laughs> yep. Arcs just Every... blinks back, and he's just in the astral sea. Oh, I mean, and then I... freezes sniff. <laughs> I would, s mm, other than the last bit, I think I would be okay with that. <laughs> you might, in theory, have enough time to cast banishment again and just let it go to its duration, and then you just have to walk your way back to the <laughs> to civilization in the Feywa, or back to wherever you guys are. Three or you'll have weeks to later. Yeah. Um, could I uh try to get the attention of one of the, the spectral floaty uh attendants? As soon as you lift your head, one is standing there waiting to help you. <laughs> uh, I don't suppose uh, 
there's any it scrolls back up uh uh, powdered silver in, in this uh, establishment that I could replace at a later date. They they shake their head no. Also, you do know from multiple times here, anything in the mansion, if brought out of the mansion, will immediately uh, poof. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it would still poof if it was crafted into something else. It would poof. That part of the thing would disappear. <laughs> Dome. Oh, that's fucking weird. Devil's advocate as a question. How how much coinage do you have on you? Uh, I have. Oh, that's true. Question enough coinage. And how much of it is silver? Uh, is all gold. Oh wait, I have eight silver, and then the rest is gold. You have a particularly strong person who is going through a crisis that would love to do anything but think right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, that's where the shot will do it. <laughs> what are you trying? Let me let me ask. What are you trying to do with the powdered silver? Uh, well, I need powdered uh silver to make um uh, uh holy water vials. You will not get enough pure silver out of eight coins. Okay. Yeah, isn't it um, 25 silver? Yes. Or, yeah. Yeah. I have 212. <laughs> Fucking Monopoly this. <laughs> Just exchange the currency. <laughs> I, I will say this. You cannot use silver coins to make materials because even silver coins are diluted with less than precious metals. Mm -hmm. That's how they're mass produced. They aren't. It isn't a direct one-to-one. You can buy 25 silver worth of of silver powder. But you cannot just crush coins. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) But if we, like, mix, sort, and sort out, like, the unprecious metals from the silver <laughs> I don't think so says Vish, of nine us. intelligence. <laughs> he fucking looks over at Russell too with eight intelligence. Like I don't think we'd do it. <laughs> oh, no. We just be there for a really long time. <laughs> this, this one's kind of silvery. I think it's some powdered. I think it's the fragment silver. Smash it. <laughs> is that is that is the silver? I don't know. Hits it with a hammer, doesn't understand why it's flattening and not powdering. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Would oh, you? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna fucking make arts and crafts with the rats then. <laughs> you, you do see that as you were speaking to the one spectral servant, four other spectral servants have approached you, picked up each rat, and are grooming them. <gasps> This is a good day for all of us. They have very tiny brushes. They're cur- <laughs> they're combing the rats. <laughs> rishy, rishy. This is what they deserve. <laughs> uh, after Artoria's memory flashbacks and like not wanting it, she will just kind of wander the mansion looking for somebody to be with because she doesn't want to be alone with her thoughts anymore. Uh, roll an investigation check. <laughs> and I'm sorry, how long? How much oh. time has passed? Um, at this point, it would have you'd probably have used most of half of your time. Okay, so that definitely would have been long rest territory for Arx, which means he would be up and around. Uh, twelve. You end up finding Martin. You wander around and you step into one of the rooms in the first floor of the mansion and you open it up and you are hit with a wave of smells. None of them pleasant. <laughs> All of them are can. She'll like wave around her nose trying to dissipate the smells. Like you're you're used to the smell of burning things. And you're hit by a wave of sulfur. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, <laughs> what are you <laughs> doing? Working. Mostly. Experimenting a little. 
<laughs> need a <laughs> experiment partner. <laughs> um, only one that can take a hit at the moment. <laughs> I'm your gal. And she'll enter in, like plugging her nose. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Okay. I am perfectly ready. <laughs> okay. Hey, how much HP do you have? 109. <laughs> okay. Martin, I'm going to roll some things for Martin, because he's been practicing some illusion bullshit. <laughs> Advantage, because he has that's a natural 20. So, yeah, he got that spell working. And the 15 plus his arcana. Yeah, he got that working. Um. So, Martin turns to you. Mm-hmm. Take some of the sulfur powder that's on the um, counter and drags it from the uh, from where his elbow is and just drags it across his forearm. And as he pulls his hand to the side, you watch as copies of him start to pull out of him and appear around him. All Ooh. these mirror images of the man. That's kind of odd. Oh, that is not the impressive part. Oh. Look at them. I I need you to roll a dex save. <laughs> In fact, I need you to roll five dex saves. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you all fail of, all of them. So you fail all but one. A. So that's eight, sixteen. 20, 24, 32 d6 yep. of yep. damage. I was expecting the d6 after that number. As you find out what he's been working on are mirror images that explode into fireballs. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's perfect. How you is resistant to fire. At the moment Prudent sees this, it's just going to be like heart eyes. Prudence, you wander down just as you see seven, just as you see five Martins running towards Artoria and then explode. <laughs> so, luckily, ah! Artoria, you are resistant to uh, fire damage at the moment due to your necklace. I am. Oh, wait. Oh, I haven't finished a long rest. I instead have like somewhere around 60. I have 66 HP. I remember. Cause... Well, this is going to fucking hurt because I'm rolling really good. <laughs> We're going to say that you go unconscious. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> a resistance though, come on. Maybe you know what, actually <laughs> slash roll thirty. Yeah, I was gonna say for that number like. D six Dice <laughs> Uh even halved. Yeah, oh, even halved. You're unconscious. Even halved. That Wait, would kill me. No. If it's halved right. sixty four. I'm up with two health. And it's at this point that Arx walks in and just flicks you on the forehead. Nah. <laughs> so is like... Arya, you watch as all of these Martins appear, and you go, that's confusing. And then they all give you a hug. And you and avoid ex- the first one, and the rest of them hug you and explode. <laughs> just as they're hugging, is this supposed to be bad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a hug spell! <laughs> <laughs> Prince is just like, oh my god, that was amazing! But then it's just like, there oh wait! There's just and then... a char mark. <laughs> There's just the shape of Artoria on the wall where the explosion <laughs> She <laughs> Prudence is gonna, like, wander up and, uh... What level spells can I cast up <laughs> And, uh, just kind of, like... Victoria, you Pat are completely her on the back to it. and give her, give yeah. her. Uh, he's like, just patting her on the cheek. So like, come on, come on. I know you're in there. Come on, you're fine. I cannot believe that worked. <laughs> <laughs> and she'll give a really shaky thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> in all seriousness, I think this would be the point where Arx would walk in. All of you now are aware of something happening. By the way. <laughs> I want I go check There was a couple <laughs> booms. I go and check this out of BD. I look at Arturia and I look at Martin, then I look at Arturia like 
Oh, what did you do? You guys <laughs> just see oh. Rustlin like poof around the corner frantically with one rat on the head, like so, one so hold on, on hold on, hold on, I got this. Rustlin, you, you poke your head around the corner and then Scooby Doo style four more heads pop out of the same <laughs> on top of yours. The rats. Rats. The rats. We're the rats. <laughs> Bad rats. I'm sorry, but I have to disagree with you on that because everybody wants to be a cat. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> I'm the big rat who makes all of the rules. Sorry. <laughs> we all agree while the CG movie was trash garbage, that's a really good musical. <laughs> the what? I've never Cats. seen it in any form. Cats. Uh, I've seen neither. CG, CG, the CG movie had an update <laughs> the first day. They had to patch it. <laughs> Oof. It was that the bad. <laughs> they had to Bethesda day one hotfix it. Um, <laughs> that sounds about I knew right. it was bad. I didn't think it would be that. Or, well, I knew it was that bad. I just, I don't know. It's an acid <laughs> trip. Not in that way. <laughs> It's an acid trip for, uh, for people on already on acid trips. <laughs> um, before the time is up, I want to leave enough time for myself uh, so that I can get a full rest, but then afterwards have like an hour to stretch slash ease into the day. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's plenty of time for that. Yeah. Okay. I got the new spell working. I am very happy. Congrats. Yeah. Arc you Arc asked for this, by the way. Walks I know. in. I know. Looks at Artoria. Covered in soot and ash. And uh, flat on her back. Yep. <laughs> Press the digitation. You are clean. <laughs> Thanks, Arx. The wound, the wound to your pride is still there, but you are clean. I don't know. She did on purpose. <laughs> She, not a wound to her pride, it's just, you know, a you wound. Just gotta, you, you, it's as a you're big laying, wound. As you're laying there, you just slowly look to the necklace and realize it's the only thing that kept you living. <laughs> she put a hand over it and just thank her, uh, thank her patron. Just, I have a question. Thank you, yes. lady. Since she got hit by that, does her necklace gain charges? Yes. Five. Uh, four, rather. Roll! <laughs> Well, I roll four times. <laughs> Those are individual damages. Oops, I did D44, not 4D4. There we go. I have double my maximum charges. <laughs> You're welcome. I cranked, I'm not gonna lie, I put them at max anyways after I got hit by it, assuming there's no way I'd roll less than six. <laughs> you say that. <laughs> There's no fucking way. <laughs> you say that. Shut up. <laughs> I refuse to believe it. But anyhow. Like, how much of the time have we gone through at this point? I will say you've gone through 12 hours. Fucking hell. Alright. Uh, so... They'll leave me with Got it. Um... Rudin's smart and comes over and shows you his experimental book, showing you the new spell in it. Very. She, it's, it's just one of those, she just kind of like yoinks the book and darts away. <laughs> <laughs> Mine! <laughs> What, what? Honestly, should have expected that. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't. Mm. And he'll follow after you and scoop you up. <laughs> Just as Kekaku. Okay. I do not disagree with you, Gregor. 
And I would like many. Arcs will motion for one of the servants. They they go to get wine. Water for me. Something stronger for this lady on the floor. Mm -hmm. They Thank go you. to get brandy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Russell will will gesture. Uh, if if you have any uh, from uh, otherwise I'll uh, anything. They turn and just escort you all to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with this uh, fancy dress spectral figure there. It's just a ghost cleaning out of cleaning out of glass. This <laughs> just is acceptable. And since the majority of you are here. I have been guided by my queen to seek out the autumn court for assistance in this, uh, in the matter concerning is that thing. That's a step in the, our direction. Hopefully a good one. However, I do not know how to find them. Let's see, only guidance that I have. And I'm assuming by this point the bartender's given him a glass of water. Yes. Yeah. He'll pick up the glass of water is is Vata bitter to the taste. I... Rustlin, I want you to roll Let me see your character sheet. Uh -oh. A ship handling check. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to roll navigator tools with wisdom as the modifier. Uh, 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 all right. Um, how 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 do I roll that physically? Uh, so what's your proficiency in wisdom? Yes. So it should be it should Five. be a plus nine. Plus nine. Oh, okay. Uh, so I, I roll a, a 20 for the, the navigating? Yes, yep. okay. 20 for the navigation tool, then add plus 9 to it for your wisdom modifier and your proficiency modifier. Okay. Yeah, unless you're rolling damage or always rolling a 20. Oh, gotcha. Um, okay, so uh, 17 plus 9, uh, 26. 26. You... Having sailed across multiple oceans. When he says seek out the autumn court, you remember that there is an island out in the archipelago where you are heading that is in a constant state of fall. Well, that's pretty. And sailors avoid it like the fucking plague. Because <laughs> it's Fey and that shit's weird. All right. <laughs> um. Uh, it, uh. The the way you describe that, it it sounds uh, a lot like a, a a series of islands that a sailors typically avoid. Uh, but the, the islands themselves are just constantly uh in in fall. Would that maybe be what you're looking for? It's actually in the the direction that uh, we'd be sailing anyway. And the islands are constantly in fall. Ah, uh, yes. And you say this is in the middle of the ocean. Uh, also, yes. Are the ocean waters bitter? Uh, rumored to be? I haven't personally visited it. Uh, most uh, folks avoid it because of uh, 
uh, pardon my language, uh, Phatrix. Arx will arch a hard eyebrow at you. Then, this is where I am being guided. You must show me the way. And this uh, is where my queen has shown that we can get assistance with this thing that we are up against. Oh, but it's... Uh, he is oh. looking at you super hard and <laughs> intensely. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll quickly look like, around at everybody. <laughs> and yeah, back it at is, <laughs> so when he's in the mansion, he has no guys. He is in his normal form. So you have these dark black pits just staring at you. Uh, yes. Uh, I I mean, I, I don't have a, a problem, but it would certainly take us quite a bit to get there, though. We, we haven't even put in our, our, our ship order yet. Then we should make haste. Because I doubt this thing will evade. Couldn't agree with you more. At this point, Ruslan has downed, like, two drinks. Arx has barely taken a sip, because as soon as you mentioned the islands, he set the glass back down and was fixated on you. <laughs> Which is why Ruslan drank two instead of one. <laughs> <laughs> Artoria would have would have matched you. <laughs> Arcs, your not face is really creepy. <laughs> You're off somewhere with Martin. Yeah. Does it make it not creepy? <laughs> oh, trust me. It, the face that he's giving right now is definitely, like, unsettling. <laughs> Like, you've seen him blank-faced, but this is a blank face that has a purpose and intensity to it. This isn't your ordi average ordinary blank face. This is advanced <laughs> blank face. Exactly. <laughs> no, I don't know what else I can do. Uh... I mean, we've got a whole 24 hours. Well, 12 left, I think, at this point. I don't think I can try commuting again. Prudence will just need some urging to sleep. Oh, I'm sure Martin can take care of that very well. <laughs> he already start has started. And in a very physical manner. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Well, not wrong. But uh, when she is super... Like, normally... Like, I, I, I forget who I mentioned this to, but it's one of those things Me. where... If... Like, left to her own... Like, outside of, like, game mechanics requiring her to sleep, like, she'd be, like, the person who gets, like, like three to four hours of sleep a night just because they're up working or their mind won't shut up. You know, mm -hmm. and that's how she subsists uh, through life. So like me for the past three weeks. <laughs> hmm. Well, uh, I mean, seeing as... Uh, 
we're going to fight something that we will and will knock on the bar, assuming that it's wood. Uh, not die. Uh, but may, maybe take this as a, a chance to get to know each other a, a little better. Anybody have any, I don't know, fun passing stories? None that would be happy. I have once watched a pit fight where the opposing teams beat themselves to a bloody pulp. It was quite good sport. And the victor was granted a week in the palace. Just get a horrified look from Victoria. There's just like a an unblinking like head nod, reaches for the glass again, and <laughs> just takes a hearty chug. Still the same intense blank face, <laughs> all through that statement. Uh, right, great, great story. Um, what about you, Ruslan, uh, on the seas? You've got to have some interesting things to tell, right? <clears throat> Ah, uh, yes, ah, uh, certainly, um, well, my, my captain was a, a, a mighty nice, but a, a, my, a mighty strict, uh, woman. She certainly whipped us all into shape, and me especially so, as she's the one that helps me adjust to... Uh, town and city life. My, um, my first uh, real time in the, the city, uh, I actually was arrested. Uh, I, I didn't no. recognize that, uh, a coin was used, uh, for purchasing goods. <gasps> so I tried to barter in, uh, giants. And it didn't uh, work too well. That's almost as bad as... Uh, oh my god, why can't I remember his name? Oh no. Fishtar. 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 <laughs> That's almost as bad as Fishtar! <laughs> Rosalind! You're I so, like, I'd... quite improper! Yes, it, uh... Took took some adjusting. Uh, I I am luckily uh, on the more calmer side by nature, so it was easy enough for me to keep my head out of trouble once I uh, learned the ropes. Oh, that's good. At least you're not getting arrested and kicked out of the city. <laughs> like some people. Like some people. <laughs> I'm not Rist that person right now. I'm a different person. Rist her <laughs> far away. <laughs> you look like somebody is talking about me. I'm <laughs> feeling yeah, judged for some reason. <laughs> Rist and Moonshadow put down their teacups from their very elegant. Beachside uh, tea party. Tea party, yes. <laughs> Beachside tea party. <laughs> Something is afoot. Who is talking shit? Okay, it's good. Come out and there's a little teacup in front of the door. He knows. And <laughs> finally, <laughs> it was good that you learned how to be civil. Also, Prudence, that is the spell that you read in his spell book. <laughs> well, I would argue that my my issue was less being or learning to be civil, uh, and more just adjusting to uh, different rules. Uh, in my 
my uh, home island, we all just work together and there's very, uh, we only more recently had coin introduced uh, to purchase uh, other items from the, the continent. Uh, so there wasn't like an economy? Well, when you live in nature and you all work together, you don't necessarily need money. Uh, I'm very much <laughs> my like village had money. I'm very much like the uh, Feywilds in that case. Feywilds don't have money either. Uh, not particularly, no. You guys are weird. This is coming from the one who just was exploded. I actively volunteered to help a friend test something, okay? There's a big difference. Blood just trickles out of Artoria's <laughs> ear as she says that. <laughs> as I look there. And we are the weird ones. For not having money when you decide that you want to be injured for fun. Okay, look, I get comparing me to, like, Rustin's people, because, like, I did it to help a friend, and, like, Rustin was saying it, like, his people, they were all like, yeah, so we, we don't need money because we, we help each other. We don't need money. And so I, I, I get that comparison, yeah. So being injured for you is akin to barter and is uh, fun. Uh, n no... No, because Ardaria didn't get anything out of that. <laughs> instead, Prudence is. <laughs> it's just a matter of I want to help people. By and Martin needed help, help like that. <laughs> well, I know that nothing bad would happen beyond maybe getting knocked on my ass. Martin's not arcs. trying to kill me. Uh, yeah, no, Arx is focused on you with uh, the same hard arched eyebrow that he gave Rustlin <laughs> earlier. But now you also have Rustlin mimicking it next to Arx. <laughs> there are four other things gazing as you, well, Artori. They're all judging. They all have giant oversized black eyebrows pointed down that are stuck with tape on their face. <laughs> Uh, listen, I'm not. I'm not just gonna throw my life away. I knew it wasn't in danger. Like I know I'd get hurt from Martin, but I knew he wouldn't kill me. Is this coming different. from the persons that I had to give many of my wealth to in order to bring back to life? And then see so that another entirely step. different matter because I died then to make sure nobody else would have to die. I made sure that everything was focused on me, or as much as I could make focused on me. Because so if they were going to after, like, Arndrith, he would have died way faster. Well, no, you're twisting my words, you little schmuck. Wilson <laughs> <laughs> schmuck. reverse cackling. <laughs> what is uh, this schmuck? Yeah, you! You. <laughs> you, you're the schmuck. I You're still a do not understand schmuppity schmuck. This makes no sense. This, this is not supposed to. Do I have to separate you two? <laughs> no! Dark black voids focus over to Gregor. <laughs> Gregor! You stay out of this! Also, I feel like it's been a while, but, uh... Bump, bump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, actually know you are kind of entirely involved with this. If I die, you die. Okay, stay in, Gregor. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. If you die, they die? Yes. Maybe? Artoria I... shrugs. I'd rather not test that theory. That inky, that hard stare kind of gets a little bit of a confused look. I see. 
like when I you weren't here when I described it the other time. Oh. And she like like throws her head back like in a big sigh like oh. oh my god. How much HP does Artoria have? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> 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 okay, Arx. So <clears throat> me and Gregor. Gregor's here because my lady, the Raven Queen, asked me to tie his fate back to mine. And as a favor for me, so that I could have something to help us on our journey. I think I don't. Meh. She did it because she did it. That's as good as I'm gonna get. She she works in mysterious ways, as does fate, because that's kind of her thing. So Gregor is here, but his string of fate is tied to mine. So I assume if I die, he dies. DM. She is, like, making very exaggerated hand movements. No, I'm letting yeah. Artaria explain this one. Yes, I know. <laughs> My question is, Is does Arx understand any of this? Does he know who the Raven Queen is? Does he understand anything about roll, these roll a general, things? Roll just a general intelligence check. <laughs> 19. Artaria, roll an intelligence check. <laughs> Oof, with that minus 16. <gasps> um, you're understanding most of it a little bit. There's some weird <laughs> god bullshit and like some Yeah, strength. it's mainly the god bullshit that I want to know if Arx understands. Um, you don't know who the Raven Queen is. Clearly, it's a god. So, yeah. While our uh, while Artoria is explaining this, Arx is kind of like pointing at one section of the bar and then dragging his finger across and doing another point motion and just trying to keep the dots connected. <laughs> <laughs> and who is uh, this uh, Raven Queen? You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> No, because uh, the only queen that I know is uh, the queen of the Winter Court. Oh my god, you fay! <clears throat> okay, so. I'm sorry, that was mean. <clears throat> that right. was very rude. I, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ar Artoria puts like a hand on your shoulder. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I know you're weird. Arx just kind of slowly like <laughs> drops his shoulder and pulls it out from underneath her hand. Like, very deliberately of, I am moving and recoiling away from your touch. Uh, she just moves her hand further <laughs> to continue putting it on your shoulder. But she, she both does... Of you, both of you make dexterity checks. Oh, no. I'm gonna miss. <laughs> no, I, you're going to do better than me with that roll. <laughs> Minus two of the sixteen. How? Arx, you run out of chair to lean away from, Max. and the and the touch <laughs> finds you. It's like I'm attacking you. I think this may be like the one instance of like a passive dexterity check to like, because I feel like Arturia is just a bit too oblivious. We'll roll with it. <laughs> you Literally. you have leaned far enough for you're either like going to fall out of the chair or accepting the touch. <laughs> you're now brushing into rustling. <laughs> that is preferable. <laughs> he actually likes rustling out the most out of everybody. <laughs> so I think he will choose to fall out of his chair into rustling. Russell's gonna catch, and he's officially tipsy, and he's just gonna be like, "Step towards friendship." <laughs> he says it out loud. <laughs> Arch just gives him a quick look, glance before looking back to Artoria, debating whether or not this is preferable. <laughs> Artoria, Artoria will accept as you lean like that far away. She's like, oh, "Okay, okay, okay, okay." So, the Raven Queen. Coolest person ever, right? I read this book on her only recently, and I learned, like, some of her history, and it was, like, really cool. I can't believe, like, I've been worshipping and living under her uh, guidance for so many years. Mm, I actually don't know how long. Regardless, she's, like, 
the per she's the she's a goddess and she guides you ne to the afterlife in that split instant of you died she takes she she's in control she you're like as you're dead and dying that's 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 her whole thing she also controls fate yes you're on your own buddy <laughs> Arcs is back to that hard stare, especially as you mentioned that the Raven Queen, this queen, and not out of character, I'm doing the quote unquote queen, <laughs> is the coolest. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you get that hard, like, icy stare from Arcs. Okay, just calling her cool is, like, way too much of an understatement and, like, really inappropriate for her because she's, like, super majestic and beautiful and amazing, yeah. <clears throat> but. You are describing my queen. Yeah, but your queen's not a goddess. Is I don't, I don't think. I don't know your queen. I'm sorry if I am assuming incorrectly. The queen is above all. She guides the winter court. She tells us what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. She guides. And she is unerring. Ah. Yeah, yeah, n nice, yes. She sounds like a wonderful woman. But this uh, Raven Queen of yours, you say that she is responsible for the time between life and the afterlife. Yes, she's not like the goddess of the dead or of de the dead, like or of the afterlife, or like that kind of stuff. She's the goddess of death and the moment of death. Since that means you are a worshipper of death. I mean, like, kinda. Not like, ha ha ha, I want everything to die. No, that's not what Raven Queen's about. It's about making sure that life and death are equal and neither are abused. Like, I, I like, necromancy, uh uh, not good if it's abused. Like, if you're raising, like, a couple skeletons and zombies to, like, go ravage and pillage a town in an inn where me and my friends are in, uh-uh, that's a no-go, that's bad. And I will smite you for it. Arx has that confused look on his face again. Then where's these, uh... Fate strings come in? That's, like, her thing, aside from, like, because the way she handles the moment of death is with the strings of fate. They all twine together in some way or fashion, shape, or form, but then they all branch out on their own because everybody has their own fate. Except for Gregor, because I brought him back and he's tied to me now. Sorry, Gregor. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> There's just an understanding nod. <laughs> just, I'm, Gregor just has a face that obviously says screaming internally. <laughs> then would you mind if I tested something? No. Mm, what are you, what are you gonna test? Aldrich Blast. No! <laughs> like, as soon as she says that. And he's only doing it because Rustlet is right there. <laughs> <laughs> she is actually no. She, she probably took off her full plate, so she has an eight dexterity currently, or an eight AC currently. <laughs> I don't think you could miss on a that one. Yeah. <laughs> she is, however, still up. 
with 12 force damage. Yep, because Prudence healed her. <sighs> so but she gets get blasted. Like probably. But here's, here's the fun fact. Mm -hmm. You get hit a second time because Eldritch Blast goes off twice. <laughs> So yeah, first blast, she like reels back, starts falling out of the chair. Second blast, definitely on the ground because she's unconscious. Uh, what? Watching what Greta. the hell? <laughs> Rosen like scurries and places the, the glass clumsily on the counter and is like, "All right." Hey, Gregor, your heart's beating normally. <laughs> Wait, what? What? You have a normal heartbeat. What? Boom, boom, boom. Like I put my hand on my chest and I'm like very horrified. This is directed at Russell, by the by. Yeah, Russell is like already over her. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out the actual... Just seeing Gregor's myself. reaction is enough to confirm it for him. Well, ignore that. That one failed, that save! No, two. <laughs> two because of an automatic crit, because you... Oh, fuck! <laughs> yeah. Um, so we'll assume a cure wounds at like first level. Really yeah, yeah. I was going to use child divinity, but I have to edit it so I actually can read it. I've been standing there, hand on my chest. I'm very horrified. Yeah, that look alone, just seeing you go from normal to absolutely horrified with your head on your chest is enough to confirm it for arcs. Does someone heal Arturia or do I need her to start rolling death saves? <laughs> She's being healed. I'm trying to... Yeah, Russell is struggling things. with a character sheet. Yeah. Just for fun, Arturia, roll a death save with her. <laughs> no! Crit fail! Aha! 21. Does that does the bonus actually apply when you're unconscious? That's it does way. automatically. <laughs> so, hmm, that's it's actually good to know. From an omnipresent aura, that's actually really good to know. Oh, I know you must be conscious to grant this bonus. <laughs> the last is the last line. <laughs> but but still, it's an eighteen. You're good. Yeah. yeah. Although that does mean that bonus triggers on other people's death saves. Mm-hmm. Huh. Neat. Okay, so question about my channel divinity. Uh, it says that I can use it twice a day now, so does that mean I get the full 45, but I can do 45 in two different settings? Sittings? That sounds right to me, but... Yeah. Cool, you got lots of health now, Pain. <laughs> Ooh, how many? 90. <laughs> just, just just like one hand go, like goes down to like fucking like uh rustling click the ability uh, uh, this one uh, energy. no i need you i need you to click the ability that's giving the health oh sorry that was the one right above it is this one that is turn undead. That is turn undead. I hope you do not use that in this room. There is two technically undeads. What is two? No, they're under the the same Wait, thing. Two? No, it's not. Uh, as an action, you thing. as an action, you present your holy symbol and evoke healing energy. Yeah, I'm not saying that in the turn undead text. You click turn undead. I I understand <laughs> on my stream that that's. You should turn them dead as the oh, one all no. clerics get. You should have one uh, specially for your life cleric. Uh, I've clicked this one Epic. now three times. And roll 20 is not doing a thing. Roll so 20 is crashing. <laughs> cleric. I, I mean, cleric. it is possible. Like but Russell, you're a life cleric, yes? Preserve life. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Your holy symbol. You can restore a number of hit points equal to five times your cleric level. Choose any creatures within thirty feet of you and divide those hit points among them. And that action. Oh, but can restore no more than half its hit point maximum. So you can only bring me up to fifty. Also, oh, an action. That is an action to use. Yes. Okay, so it'd only be the forty-five. Okay. You'd only want to use one on me, anyways. So. Okay. So as soon as Artoria is back to consciousness, uh, Gregor, your heart goes boop. <laughs> like mid-beat, it just stops. Like, did anything else about me change that <laughs> anyone could see? During that time, like, did my eyes change or anything? Nope. You just gained a heartbeat. Oh, no. And make an intelligence save. Make an intelligence check. Okay. I'll give you advantage because it has to do with your heart. <laughs> <laughs> Can I also do an? Hmm, what would it be? Would it be an this insight would, this check? This is direct. For, this is directly for, for for. I know, but I'm just kind of watching Gregor. Eighteen. As this is happening, you have an Artoria is dying detector. <laughs> oh God, Dan! <laughs> 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 Man, that thing is going to be going off like all the time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Correct. I look, I look at wrong. Arx very seriously. Arx is looking back at you very seriously. Oh, and so Arx isn't looking at Artoria. So this punch is going to be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, no, I will. You. I will accept that. <laughs> Never do that again. And then you get ducked. <laughs> Roll the attack. The one maybe, thing maybe I've ducked. been wanting to do this whole time. <laughs> that uh, roll it again. Can I argue that I have to roll a deck save? <laughs> what? <laughs> because you just woke up and threw a punch. No, I woke up, saw you, and then saw I woke up, stood up. And deck darks like said yeah. nothing. <laughs> Roll okay. it again. It's a it's Time a surprise. Punch. Roll it again. You miss. Really? Yep. My AC is nineteen. Damn. You're making strength checks, not unarmed oh. strikes. Am I not? Am I proficient in unarmed strikes? Everyone's proficient with their. And that's a twenty-two. <laughs> Then the first one would have hit regardless. Ah, all right. So then. And so it's one plus your one plus your strength modifier, which is a three. So Four damage. Arcs will accept that. I feel like we take more damage from from puns. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. Well, that was fair considering what I just did to you. But yeah, that's you no. think? It seems like you are not wrong. You it's could have just asked ring. Gregor when I went unconscious in the ring. What happened then? Arx is going to look at Gregor. Did that happen then? Did it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you were just more concerned at the moment that you didn't notice it, especially because you were surrounded by a crowd. That was also causing your body to thump around. <laughs> no, thump no, around, no. thump around. Get up, get up. Does <laughs> not all NPCs in the world should take a D for? Like, <laughs> oh, there'd be, yes, there'd be no, so many I, dead people. Yes, no. I want, <laughs> oh god! Roll a D four. Roll the fucking D four. <laughs> I want all of the NPCs to take that much damage. I, I am going to be that evil bastard out of character. <laughs> I want to know how many Everyone people in die. the world collectively takes a, a single point of damage as they all get a migraine at the same time. <laughs> hey! Encounters are going to be that much easier now! <laughs> and then you all rested. Yeah. <sighs> and then... Uh, I, well, it speak for yourselves. It did happen. Well, now I guess you know the awesome know the majesty of sure. Raven Queen is her what she does. Yes. 
and Arturia takes another drink. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Ruslan. Thank you for making me not die. Uh, why yes, don't... Uh, any time. That is the only reason that I did what I did. Uh, well, I mean, I get... I still don't forgive you. And that is okay. You got your vengeance by punching me. Uh, yeah, Which, I, I, I mean, those... Bites of a... Those don't really, like, even out, like, me going unconscious versus me kind of just punching you in the face. But from my understanding, you like taking damage, and, uh... Uh, there's a time for this. I said that I don't enjoy it. I said that I would. In I prefer me doing it than others because I know I can take it, and I know other people can't. Yes, I'm big and tough. Let's. What is the difference? Uh, you enjoy taking it, so that. Hey, Ruslan. Turns out that rats are also NPCs. <gasps> yeah, that's why I was saying don't do it. <laughs> no. no. Hold on, this is going to be important, because four rats might have just dropped dead. Hold no. on, no. Not the rats! Rats have, the, uh, have a D4 health. Uh, four rats drop dead. Because it's a D4 minus one. The average is one HP. I'm going to roll for each rat for their HP. No! <laughs> How much do we have, have to kill the rats? One drops down. <laughs> Third one's okay. Fourth one's okay. What? So, Russell, as you're going through this, you just hear a... No! <gasps> Russell, why did you have that? <laughs> I needed to know. <laughs> one of your rats has a spontaneous heart attack. <laughs> Which one? And can he prevent it from actually full on dying? <laughs> uh, quasi. No, sorry, Dylan. No! Dylan, Dylan the underdog. Better pop a point of HP into it. <laughs> Rustin, what do you do? One of, your, one of your rats is about to roll a death save. Oh, so it's, it's not officially dead yet? You don't save the rat! <laughs> It failed. It, it's gonna be soon. <laughs> Jack, lay on hands. Literally any of my healing spells. <laughs> uh, lay on hands uh, or the the prison of serve life. I can just instantly pump a point back in. I want Russell to RP realizing that one of his one of his new new children has had a heart attack. <laughs> okay, you don't you don't get out of that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, frantic player. Uh, uh, d uh, d d d d d Dylan, uh, d Dylan, Dylan, <laughs> Dylan. like, uh, like Doctor Doolittle, like takes like. An index finger and like rolls them onto his bag and like like does like little presses on his little rat chest. Little CPR. Like, oh, uh, all right, uh, hang in there. And we'll just like like do like some 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 like like uh fucking preserve life. <laughs> the rat pokes its head up. It looks at you. It squeaks. It lays back down. It is tired. Death is hard. <laughs> Arjoria, as you look at Dylan, you see a tiny frayed thread. <laughs> no! She just grasps that her amulet, just like, I know you didn't have to, but thank you. <laughs> just, a very, just a very, very small knot in it. <laughs> thank you. I don't think Russell's poor heart could take that. <laughs> Russell just like delicately scoops up the little rat in his massive cow person hands and like scoops him up to the chest. Oh, okay, uh, just 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 take a nap. Everything is fine. And what? when you wake up, you all up, just need to be happy. happy. It's fine. What happened to Dylan? Oh, Alex? What did you do to Dylan? <laughs> I did nothing, Susan. 
It was the only things that I did was to you. <laughs> what? Why? Why would he just die? Why would he just die like that? <laughs> can, I, can I do a medicine check? To go. Yeah. Roll a medicine check. Okay. Bottle. <laughs> uh, fucking uh, fourteen plus uh, medicine five nineteen. Nineteen. He had a, the most tiny, adorable little heart attack. <sighs> I don't know if I would ever describe a heart attack as <laughs> tiny and adorable. Yeah, right? <laughs> Flashes to Ruslan, teary eyed, just shaking, holding Arcs his little rat. <laughs> I'm sorry, I heard Arcs, what? Arcs might describe a heart attack as tiny and adorable. Uh, no. <laughs> you don't describe Arcs anything doesn't... as adorable. Arcs doesn't even know what a heart attack is. Very. Uh, very fair. Can we? Can we move on from this conversation? Because <laughs> I just have a bottle of wine. Snarks will look back at you. Do not drink that entire thing. We need you. Capable. Don't listen to him, Gregor. I will say for the sake of brevity, you after your scare with the rats, you all make your way to your respective rooms to sleep off the rest of the uh, time you have remaining. And in terms of prudence and Martin fade to black. Um you all wake up somewhat refreshed. No rats died during the long rest. <clears throat> that we know of. Oh, many rats died. <laughs> I don't have to talk about that, though. I think some, like, species has been wiped out. <laughs> Close to extinction. But... <laughs> We're walking through the Corvash and there's just a bunch of dead rats. <laughs> no, no. Zach, I want you to roll 10,000 D4s. Minus <laughs> one. Don't do it. Varys is just out there walking around and suddenly everything, like birds, are dropping from the sky. What? A bunch of dead eagles on the coast. Yeah, the, the, the and Bishara, both. Luckily, the Ooh. magic of the DM made a pun only extends to the dimension that the majority of the players are in. <laughs> So, <laughs> so it was only Rustlin's rats in danger of dying and no other rats. <laughs> <laughs> only where it can hit the hardest. Yeah. <laughs> as as soon as there was a oh, so NPCs take damage, I was like, wait, no, no, please. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I was like, hang on. I know this stat doesn't work in my favor. <laughs> You're lucky I rolled only a one or all of your rats would be dead. I know, thank you. <laughs> oh, fuck. Because none of them had over two. Oh. And that was including the minus one, correct? Mm-hmm. I rolled a, a three, a one, a three, and a two, and, a, and another three. So wait, that technically means one of the rats had zero HP. Yeah. Yeah, that was Dylan. That was Dylan. So Dylan literally has zero HP. Yeah. You can't wait, have lower he, than a one. Wait, if he takes one damage, that's more than double his cat. Yeah, you can only ha you can't have more than one, or he would have just been dead. Because <laughs> uh, I looked up the normal rat stack block, stat block, whenever. Damn. And you only rolled the one for psychic damage. Yeah, I know, but it's 1d4 minus 1. That could have been fucking fantastic. All of Wrestling's rats at once, just... Instant character development. <laughs> you actually just see somebody to die while... This is a weird conversation, right, guys? 
guys. Just a little bit. Pat, 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 pat. Guys, <laughs> I'm starting to tear up. Guys. Well, so <laughs> Dylan, <laughs> Dylan would be insta dead if you rolled a two for damage. Yeah. Dylan would be unconscious at least. Russell, Russell becomes John Wick. <laughs> or just starts to wonder who... How to kill the gods! Who he upset along the way. So 24 hours has passed. So you all step out of the mansion. It's been a second. You're fully rested. What's his ass is still sitting there? Varys, Varys, oh, hey, Varys. Walked, Varys has walked three steps away from the mansion. Mm-hmm. Although I feel like we did spend like five or ten minutes in the mansion and Fair. then, because we like we did stuff like we all like relaxed a bit. Met no, you for... actually spent several hours. Now I think because you yeah. made one of the amulets. Yeah, and then we met up for dinner to talk about it. So and it's Artoria like mentioned Rickon's mid... name, and he appeared so across like the table. <laughs> oh. Hey. Uh. Well, the docks do do? aren't open. Russell, you know that's a bold-faced lie. Yeah, I was, I was about to hit the inside that. <laughs> those, those docks don't fucking... Arcoria does not know that. Carithin is a water tribe. <laughs> the docks don't close. Well, we so, are... uh, so should we Walk... get... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, so walking out of the mansion, Arx is going to see uh, Varys standing there, and it's like... It's a couple hours later. In the real world. Yeah, you guys so spent some sleep hours. in a tavern right now while meditating. <laughs> okay, so it has not been a second. No, it was a second, but you guys spent a few hours making the first... Pre-second. Um, yeah. yeah. Because oh, we had that whole time. Second, okay. So okay. we were in the mansion for a while before Riffin paused the time. Okay, so before Riffin showed up, it's been some time. So Varys is not actually standing there. No. Okay. Because Arx was going to be like, "Oh, you waited the entire twenty-four, uh, the entire day for us. Is that this nice?" <laughs> <laughs> he's like, what? Yeah, no, he's currently. In a tavern, or in his room, trancing. <laughs> Being sad and alone. Pretty. Ow. Um, Martin reaches over, grabs his book that's kept in your bra now because you will not let it go. <laughs> takes it out, makes a single correction to one of the spells in it, and places it back. Because <laughs> <laughs> that, that lives now. I love that that's canon. It's like bra holding. Try to take it. <laughs> I think he'd have an arm if he tried to take it. Uh, so, should we uh, head to the docks? And it was like, Russ and like has, has like a couple steps leading in the direction to the docks. Are they open? Uh, out of character, real quick, because I need a memory refresher. We got that. Um, buzz on our cards from Martin's friend who's going to pay us like 10,000 gold. Did we accomplish that? Because I think we were going to use that money to buy the boat. You did technically accomplish the contract. He gave you a second contract that was not part of the Hunter's Guild to oh. murder Fiddlesticks. Okay. Because you guys technically did discover what killed his prostitute. So did we get the first reward, or...? You have not. <laughs> you Man. never went to collect it. We should do that. Oh, so we're heading, and we'll even more enthusiastically start stepping in the direction of the, uh... What the hell is it called? Just something going. stuck you by, or whatever? Uh, no. Well... They do not pay those out. The Hunter's Guild pays that out. Sorry, um, Rustin. Yep, Arx is completely hands off of it for anything Hunter Guild. There's just a, a visible group. We have to go to the Hunter's Guild to get. To be fair, Rustin, you look up, notice it's midnight, and go there, sleep. <laughs> yeah. 
I feel like he's also the kind that would be like, Hello, I'm home! <laughs> Just a pillow is thrown very hard at your face. Yeah. <laughs> Hello! Bam! <laughs> Just wondering, how long has it been since the rest of, since everyone went into... Four hours. Okay, he's got about three hours left on his trance. <laughs> Do we know where the Hunter's Guild is here? Nope. Nope. Right. So, and we'll look around. Are there any, like, guards or anybody? <laughs> sure. Uh, okay, I'll go up to one of the guards. I uh, see a lizard folk in leathers. <laughs> uh... Hello there. Uh, I was wondering, do you know where the uh, Hunter's Guild is in the city? Uh, as you approach this guard, uh, you see his eyes are open, and then as you approach him, his head shoots up, and like little like translucent films open up from his eyes and out of his neck. This large, like colorful frill just expands. What? <laughs> What can I do for you? And he, like, lowers the frill. <laughs> Lick, licks his eyeball. <laughs> Entirely my bad. Uh, I, I'm Rosalyn. I was wondering if you could point me in the direction of the Hunter's Guild in this city? Uh, that way. Take a few... Take a lift on the next channel pass. And then head down around... Four streets. You will see it. It is the one decorated in skulls. Skulls. Uh, right. Thank, thank you so much. Uh, your name? Why do you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> because Rustlin is polite and kind. And you wants must... to thank people personally. You must name every single one of your NPCs. Them. <laughs> yeah, I was busy laughing and I didn't hear it. Well, it's your own like... fault. <laughs> <laughs> no, Arcs pipes up and says, Gizu tight. So, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get a bop on the back of the head from Otoria. I still didn't hear it because they were talking. <laughs> okay, now it's Otoria's fault. <laughs> yeah, Arcs kind of flinches a little bit and looks back at Artoria. Uh, uh, exiting out, Arx is... Actually, let me roll for this. Yeah, yeah, no. He appears as he normally does inside of the mansion. He did not readopt the guys. Oh, no! Ooh. You okay, Arx? You forgot your face. <laughs> 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 what do you mean? This is my face. <laughs> yes, but you usually have a face. You usually like taking others. You don't seem Harry. to be very fond of your own. And Harry I can see why. appears in this world. Here's a face you can have. Arx <laughs> will immediately adopt it. <laughs> no, actually, better yet, Arx adopts Riffin's appearance. Uh, as long as you don't you. take on his manic personality, I think we'll be good. But also, I really don't want to have two Riffins in this world. <laughs> what do you mean? So, as soon as you adopt that persona, um, you are in scream agony and your head is on fire. <laughs> yeah, no, our, he, he'll take it. <sighs> no, you, you drop to the ground. You are incapacitated while you're holding this form. There's, there's... If he's incapacitated, he can't change forms again, so he's permanently incapacitated at that point. <laughs> oh no! There, there are hundreds of thousands of voices screaming at you in your head. In oh, languages you cannot uh, understand. But, uh... Yeah, then he's on the ground just writhing. Because if he's incapacitated, he can't, I can't take an action to change out of it. Oh no. 
Um, uh, um, could I try uh, using calm emotions to incapacitate or to roll? Roll. It? I will. I will. I will be a kind DM. Roll a wisdom check. Can you put uh, him to sleep, Rustlin? Okay. I, I can put him to sleep, but it's not gonna be pretty. <laughs> I will say that this, this happened. is actually very interesting because all he does is take on the appearance. I will, uh, I will say that this happened away from the guy. This is more of a restoration kind of problem to solve. Uh, 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 I could try and command him to change. I don't. Uh. Uh, this this is more of the greater like and or lesser restoration variety. Prudence is going to kneel over him and then just <laughs> slap him really hard across the face. Uh, and then peer make, at a him. make a make a strength uh, check, Prudence. Strength. Would this be versus my AC or just? No, I just have a DC. I think it's impossible. To okay. You're also incapacitated and on right, the ground. It would be burn. an advantage, but there's there's a lot of things happening. Yes. Is it uh, at advantage? Okay. Uh, so it is at I, advantage. Is lesser risk? Natural twenty. Whoa! Flat. I don't see a regular restoration. There is There's a lesser greater. and a greater. greater. Okay, so then I'll use lesser. Um, you slap the taste out of his mouth. It doesn't help, but boy, do you slap him. It makes, <laughs> it makes a, like, a, a satisfying, like, thwack! And he'll, ne and he'll never know, because he can't visualize anything at the moment, other than so, the many screaming voices in his head. What's prudent strength modifier? Zero. Because <laughs> I'm... I'm going to take the damage for this. What's the strength modifier? Zero. She does not have so one. So that is oh, point one of damage. damage. Ah, Russell, save him! <laughs> I already panicking. I already... <laughs> I after, I already like, hours after he Eldritch blasts you. Okay. This is cool. Mate. Artoria, trust. Artoria probably actually forgot about that because she was absolutely wasted. <laughs> May, um... Rustlin, if you cast Lester Restoration, make a. Uh, I will just say, make a spell attack. So, D20 so roll plus... a d20 plus your spell attack. Yeah, so Bonus. that'll be okay. your modifier plus your wisdom. Or your proficiency plus wisdom. I believe is the modifier. Um, I got a nat 20 and then a plus 9. So you slap the old god out of him <laughs> and the appearance of, of Riffin. Uh, Russell, you basically reach down and grab Arcs by the face, and your fingers sink in, and you actually grab into his face and pull, and you pull the image of Rithin out of him, and it fades into this inky black sort of shadow before disappearing entirely. There's just like a like a, a sticky substance like hand flick from my hand before I quickly bring it back to Arcs' face. Uh, are you all right? Are you, uh, you? And uh, like, just like hand over hand over hand, like just pat, pat, pat. Like are you, you, you come to your own senses, and the voices stop as soon as Rustlin does this. <gasps> what in the hell? <coughs> you have the headache of your life. Every noise is painful. Every light is painful. The stars I'm, are blinding. I'm I'm actually going to do a Constitution saving roll for this. Yep. He falls yeah, you're you're vomiting. <laughs> no, you're vomiting, he's... followed quickly by unconsciousness. Yep. It's just a uh... straight stream of like clear vomit because water, and then yeah. unconscious. After the vomit stream stops. Um. All right, all right. Well, not the first time that happened. Uh, we'll scoop them. Uh, not the first time that's happened. Hello. <laughs> I feel like there's a story there, Ruslan. <laughs> probably not the other. He's probably seen plenty of people go and vomit and then go unconscious from too much drinking. <laughs> In fact, that's a common state for sailors. <laughs> Drunk, throw up, pass out. <laughs> Although you've never experienced someone uh, gaining the wisdom of an old god for a moment, and then... 
he yeah, must have mean... eyes on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, shall we go lay him down in the manor? So, oh. strangely, the manor has expired. Oh. Because 24 hours for it have passed. Shit. <laughs> Uh, we, I, I can give him a piggyback uh, until he wakes up. But what happened? Uh, uh, roll it. Roll a d4. Um, arcs. Okay, you'll be out for two hours. I am okay with this. Uh, Russ is just gonna like continue to carry or try to. You're a large so, boy. I will say you throw him on your back. Okay. I actually, I actually have a question. Okay. What is Ruslan's strength mod uh, strength score? Uh, wait the 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 modifier the actual or the score. score? The, the actual, actual score. score is fourteen, but I have powerful build. Okay. okay. Yeah. No, you're good enough to carry him. I wanted to ask because uh, he's a lot denser than he looks. <laughs> gotcha. He's sick! I'm not fat, I just have dense bones. Uh, <laughs> in a sense, yes. Because shape changer. Uh, uh, so... Rustin just princess style carrying arcs. Oh, that's sweet. That's I yeah, was expecting, I, I was think... expecting Fireman Carrie, but Princess Carrie is cute and adorable. I like this. It it fits his style, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, so to the uh, Hunters Guild, it's apparently uh, a left and uh, a lots of skulls on the building. Yes, let's go before something else happens. So we're just gonna ignore that happened. Yes. Okay. Just double uh, check. Anything involving Riffin, I try to ignore. I know you can hear me, and I'm going to ignore that as well. <clears throat> Let's continue oh. on. How, how much... <laughs> what did they see on their end when I pulled the thing out of his face? What did... who? Like, like the... The party. Yeah. Oh, you all saw that. It was horrifying. Oh, okay. Yeah. You watch yeah. Ruslan ball their hand into a fist in Ark's face. Yeah, literally in his face. <laughs> okay. Note to self, never disguise as Riffin. Alright, I have no idea. Uh, I have some, uh, slight idea, but I so, don't so you want have to think heard Riffin uh, rec uh, call his patron the Watcher? And it probably saw someone take an appearance they weren't supposed to. And it was like, uh uh uh. That belongs to me! <laughs> <laughs> Not that it's going to stop Barks from trying again in the future. <laughs> okay, damn it. Just a full warning. I mean, honestly, fair. Middle of combat. <laughs> I turned it to. <laughs> <laughs> not fair. That one's not fair. <laughs> no. No, this is more next time we're in the mansion, he's going to try again because he wants to try to understand. Mm. I can see that. Ooh, okay. Bloodborne game. Bloodborne game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you start to make your way and you do eventually find it. And it is not skulls, human skulls. It is trophy skills of all different sorts of creatures. Just to <laughs> at a quick glance, do they all appear uh, monstrous? Yes. Okay. There are a few like wolf skulls that you see as you enter, but they're very large. And there's like bones protruding out of the backs of them. Fair. Uh, question: Arcs wears a cloak, right? 
Yes. So Arcs is in fine traveler's clothes. So think normal traveler's clothes, except very much regal and royal. And underneath of it all, he does have an eternal half plate. But you got a hood. Yeah, he has a hood. He has a cloak. Cool. So I'm going to make sure that the hood is up over Arx's face, at least enough to cover um, the abyss <laughs> as we, we go into the building. You, you step in, and there is a... Um, a Goliath sitting at the counter. And he's got his feet up. Or she has her feet up, rather. Mm -hmm. Uh, good evening. Uh, we're here about, uh, a bounty reward? You shall show up late. Your feet off, and she shakes her head. You see this very long. Her, her. She only has hair on the very, uh, on the back of the head. Think Prince, uh, Prince Zuko, location of hair braid, but it extends in dreadlocks all the way down to her feet. Oh shit! Hmm. That's all With hair. multiple feathers and beads and different uh, accoutrement in the hair. Some bits of bone and things. There's probably some symbol symbolism to it. Mm -hmm. Alright, show me your cuts. Uh, and we'll... <laughs> like... uh, pretty, pretty All right. Rustling, trying to open, trying to get their keys out of their pocket while also carrying all the groceries. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Right. <laughs> Ruslan, do you need a hand? Uh, yes, that would be much appreciated. It's, uh, it should be in the pouch on the, uh, right, uh, side belt there. I have the mage hand get it while I get mine. You pull out a rat. Put the rat back! <laughs> <laughs> the hand pats the rat gently. The rat is happy. The rat goes in and pops out again, and it's holding the guard. Oh! The hand will take the card. <laughs> As you pull the card out, a second rat pops out, still holding the card. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> okay, Gregor is going to take the rat. The and... rat scurries up and sits on your horns. Fate accepted. <laughs> the rat loafs. Well, I can't move him now! How does this orc room react to uh this Slump tall earth. cow person furbolg carrying an unconscious they don't person. seem to bat an eye as if people have come in here in the past carrying unconscious friends <laughs> fun of all the places in the city I think the monsters <laughs> guild would be the most used to that <laughs> I think they call this maybe Tuesday. maybe taverns as well. Yeah, they call this Tuesday. She but she starts Friday. to take she starts to take the cards and gathers them and looks over the contracts and all of them. Hmm. Avarice. Speaking of, I should probably visit that. No, never mind. Uh. All right. Seems like you accomplished task. That's horrifying in detail. Okay, and she pushes the cards back towards you all, and then steps away and heads into the back. Um, and which, you're alone for about five minutes. Which red is on my head? Roll a d4. Four. Co. The gray rat. <laughs> nice. 
It's like, he's loafing. Well, I can't move him now. I won't disturb the loaf. And that's a sin. <laughs> <laughs> you just get get a, a a peaceful nod from Ruslan. Yes, good. Except the way of the rat. <laughs> <laughs> They've accepted he has their own. Soon we will gather all of them and have a rat army. <laughs> At one point, Arx's hand slips loose. We're gonna like grab like the the edge of the cloak and like tuck it in and like pull the cloak. <laughs> I reach in, but I reach into my bag of holding, and let's see. Wait, do I have anything that might help? Like do watching, I... like trying to fold a fitted sheet. You struggle your way into reforming the hand into uh under the cloak. <laughs> Uh, eventually the woman returns with a large chest and places it in front of you and opens, and it is full of gold pieces. Da, 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 da. Prudence, you want to just dump it in? Sure. Do I get to that keep is... the chest? <laughs> Do you ask if you can keep the chest? Yes. <laughs> Obviously. She... Yes. She... <laughs> can, can you not hear me? Oh uh, no, uh, you, you, you are. So you couldn't hear you. I said uh, yes. She does. Uh, make a persuasion roll. Uh, persuasion. Let's go, computer. Roll. Eh. Persuasion. Fourteen. And Prue just smiles as sh chastity. <laughs> the Goliath woman sighs and pushes the whole chest forward. <laughs> Yay! So, um, strong people, I need a bit of help. <laughs> I'll hold the bag open. <laughs> we'll quickly look down at arms uh, and look back at Prue. Uh, I got it, I got it. Martin grabs the entire chest. Martin's got it. The bag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Artoria will, however, while, uh, while Martin's doing that, lean into Russell and just, like, whispering. So we're totally gonna like cover arcs in like flowers and stuff that he totally wouldn't wear otherwise, right? Actually, that's that's not a bad idea at, at all. You know, I haven't you know braided with flowers in quite a while, so and, and, and he's just gonna kind of go off a little bit about flowers. <laughs> Russell, as you think about braiding his hair full of flowers, you look down and uh, changelings are bald. <laughs> right, That's well... actually not true. <laughs> they are. Change... Changelings have hair. I think of doppelgangers. Yes, yes, yes. you're thinking I'm of thinking doppelgangers. doppelgangers. Their doppelgangers mm. are where changeling come from. Yep, changelings have uh, basically full head of hair. His is actually short, but I think um, like they're is still pale white. Are changelings also the product of humans sticking their dick where it doesn't belong? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As it is. I mean, theoretically, they could be like other races, but like I've always viewed them as having like very nondescript, almost like non-existent features, just like the very basics of what like a face should look like. One of their parents was a bard. <laughs> yeah. It's like just, it's just that Bo Burnham song. Oh God, I need to find that. Yes, it's you do, <laughs> because I I know many of them. I need to know which one you're referencing. <laughs> um, I love the fact that that in the D and D universe, most of the races are because humans will fuck anything. Well, the reason <laughs> behind that is is humans are kind of the most genetically neutral mm -hmm. of the races, so they um, can fuck anything. Pretty much, yes. 
they're the most genetically neutral as well as the most magically neutral. They have great potential within their genetics that sure. allow them to actually go through and breed with all of these races. That's where half dragons come from. That's where half orcs come from. Half well, elves. to be fair, dragons have to turn into people to yeah. accomplish that. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> the being like the first person or being like the first guy where your first kid is just half like co covered in scales like a half dragon. <laughs> and you Honey? Just, you just, just look at your partner like you uh you yeah uh, you got something to say? <laughs> um <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Three words. Draconic origin sorcerer. <laughs> yep. Someone uh, somewhere uh, their Someone partner then swiftly hey. changes into a dragon. <laughs> the bar the bard the bard rolls to seduce a dragon. Natural twenty. The DM says, Okay, and make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> Why? Yeah. They lift up the bard's miniature, they lift up the ancient dragon's miniature, and they go, They're not changing for you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how much was the bounty again? Uh, you have 10,000 gold. Okay. Add it to the bag of holding. Yep, yep, yep. Of which Arx doesn't get a single copper. Neither does Vitara. <laughs> Technically, neither does any of them. It's all going to boat. It is boat. Problems. I understand that, but it's a matter of... Ark still has not a single copper to his name. Never start I, I found I found <laughs> it. Where's the doo doo? There it is. Do, 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 do. Oh yes, yes. This one, yes. I love how your torso has an arm on either side. <laughs> As he proceeds to eat the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, back to the game. <laughs> it's just so invigorating for the stream. Attention uh, fan of newts. <laughs> I mean, I think newts have more of an attention span than squirrels do, so we'll stick with squirrels. <laughs> uh, right, so our next stop is... And there's just going to be like a, a, like a side skip. And then, like, an, a big step and towards the door. The port? Uh, yes, I'll catch up. Give me just one moment. And our tour is going to head back over to the counter. Yes. Uh, excuse me. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have received a letter recently, perhaps made out to an Artoria? Would have come from Dimlodar? No. Ah, okay. Uh, thank you, then. <clears throat> I'll be off. <laughs> Though, I specified for it to be sent here. Would it regardless be sent somewhere else, for, depending on the postage? We're not a post office. Right. Where would I go to check for that? The post office. Uh, right. Where would might that be? I don't know. Right. Don't Thank you for your time. Just going to go back to the group. I'm <laughs> Mr. Ref DM. Yes. May I make a roll to see if our extremes while unconscious? Sure. Gregor's gonna make his way out while carefully trying not to disturb the loaf. Uh, oh, 
Uh, right, uh, Gregor, and <laughs> can you, like look over my shoulder. Uh, just uh, be be aware of uh, birds and the like. Now that we'll we'll be on the streets. You hear a seagull. <laughs> Russell, your heart sinks. Middle of the road. Ten for the dreaming. Bills. I you just hear. I hear what. No, the moment I hear a seagull, I'm grabbing the rat. Like no. Okay, no. Moving over. Sorry. You. You all just hear. And just the rustle it just freezes and turns completely pale. The rat is now in Gregor's hands. He's like, nope. <laughs> you want him back? <laughs> you just see the rustle looking shaky and just a slow nod. <laughs> okay, go back with your friends. In in his unconscious stupor, arcs just kind of reaches up and like touches your face. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's, it's a little, little forceful. Sparkles. Yeah, it's a little forceful, <laughs> but it's just one of those like it's a slap, but not a slap. Touch. Yeah. <laughs> like, and I and I delicately put the rat back in what where whatever bag it came out of. You put it in the left pocket. It goes on into the pocket and then pops out of the right pocket. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask. <laughs> Ruslan will just. They're slowly... actually blue rats. <laughs> <laughs> Ruslan will like slowly tor turn their head towards Artoria. I think this means we're best friends now, and we'll just have super sparkle eyes. Oh, um, you're talking about with Arx's <laughs> hand on your face? Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy for you. And you get a, a thumbs up from Artoria, but her face does not convey that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually used my d20 for this particular role as a follow-up. <laughs> that hand on I your face. I can't wait for Russellin to be like, we're best friends when Arx wakes up. Why? We touched my face! <laughs> yeah, no, so this is the follow-up to him touching the face, because I rolled again. It grabs your face. Hard. <laughs> like, squeezing. your cheek is squeezed in his hand, nails starting to dig in kind of hard. I'm not, I'm not quite sure this is, uh... Uh, maybe Are you sure, Rustin? <laughs> I, I may have misread the signs. <laughs> After which it relaxes and just flops back down. <laughs> Subconsciously processing it. I'll we'll just kind of like stretch the jaw and, and like and move it side to side like oh my goodness. One Rustling. step at a time, Rustin. One step at a time. Your next stop is the docks. To the docks. Fingernail marks all across Rustin's face. Oh, Look at this further. Uh, what, what was said? It cut out. Mr. DM? Yes. What was said? You cut out. Oh, I said, uh, luckily, Rustlin has fur to hide the fingernail scratches. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you <laughs> all... Said you just do, like, little short tufts just slightly out of place. You, you all make your way lovers. to a... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> to use that word. Uh, you all make your way to what is still a busy torchlit dock. Even at night, even this late at night, you see ships unloading and uh, unloading and offloading. For you're very used to the sight of docks not closing because docks don't close in Corrington. Huh. We're in Corbash. 
Yeah, same this is kind of place. Story, then. That's confusing. But okay. We're in the <laughs> the area we're in is. Ooh, in You're Corey? in the city of Corvash, in the kingdom of Corey. There's also a city of Corathan. Because people who aren't elves are bad at naming things. <laughs> and thought that the city had no me names, had no meaning. So they called the entire kingdom Corathan. Mm, kind of like New York City in the state of New York. Yep. But the fact is, is New York. City. It's not New York, New York. It is New York, New York. If you if you if you type it out as an address, and I know this because I live here, it is New York, New York. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the convention knows more. Not to be confused with Newark, which is right there. Yes, there's also New York, New York. <laughs> Jesus fuck. Look, don't get me wrong, there's also a Long Island City. Long Island. Yes, I know that. <laughs> but... Oh. <laughs> so you're saying I've been naming those letters wrong all this time. Okay. Yep. Very generic. <laughs> Location. It is definitely New York, New York. Oh, that's horrid. <laughs> so stupid. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. This is why I moved. I'm back. It's such a dumb uh, place to live. Welcome back uh, to the chaos. What I missed. We're discussing the fact that I used to come from a place that was essentially called New York, New York. <laughs> America. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, but then, you know, Antarctica, Antarctica. The whole like bear, it's like bear bear country or something like that. But and <laughs> bear 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 bear. Moon moon. Let's move on. <laughs> oh jeez, don't even start with moon moon. Moon moon. Sleep. So oh. you all make it to the docks. There are dock houses and dock workers. There are buildings in which people are going in and out of carrying paperwork and and goods. And showing proof of travel and purchase. Uh, can I walk in the direction that some of those people are uh, coming from? Sure. The, the documentation. As you are carrying an unconscious arc that is covered up with a blanket, appearing to be more dead than unconscious. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Dude's breathing, it's good. Brooklyn, you look down at that and you go, maybe this is a problem. And then you notice that there are other people carrying unconscious people. And you go, oh, wait, sailors. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could see my face right now because it's like, the fuck? <laughs> people, people get our board on boats. There's like <laughs> one thing to do. Right. Yes, and it's drink. called drink. <laughs> I know what drinking leads to. This is a for you wood. Strange warnings of succubi and incubi. Right, Artoria? Yep. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, do you folks happen to know uh, where we could go about purchasing a, a ship? Uh, Dockmaster. He will help you out. If he cannot, he will know who can. Uh, fantastic. Do you have a general direction which I could find them? Uh, yeah, that little shack over there. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Mm, you know. Give a head nod and head back to the group. The, the person you were talking to, by the way, is a human gentleman with an accent strongly related to Martin's. And the dress that he's wearing is like this very flowy silk um, 
these very slowing silks and these large kind of like poofed out pants in uh, wrappings that look like they are from the desert. All right. Uh, as walking back to the group, we'll whisper to self. Well, that's certainly attractive fellow as well. And we'll finish that thought before reaching the group. Uh, so it turns out we have to go to the Dark Master in order to purchase a ship, and they are in uh, that shack? It's not so much a shack. Um, it is a one-story building, a long one-story building, um, with bars on the windows, because drunk people <laughs> make bad decisions. Mm-hmm. Also rogues. <laughs> I stand by what I said. <laughs> Drunk robes make first decisions. So you all head that way? Yes. Yep. Waves. Well, then that's Shaq. Martin waves at the um, Erath sailors as he passes. You enter the uh, longhouse, and uh, much like the last time you rode a Doc Masters race, there is a small desk set up with a bell on it. Uh, we'll look to uh, Gregor. Uh, would you uh, mind hitting the the the, the bell? God, thank God Mishara isn't here, or we could have a rage bell ringing. <laughs> <laughs> or arcs. I, I'll ring the bell. Uh, the bell rings, and for a moment, no one shows up, and then you hear boot steps. And come walking behind the doorway that leads to the back is a very tall gentleman with red uh, Skin and fur, a almost a oh god, how do I describe this? The 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 face is pushed in. He's got a pug face. He's got a pug face. It <laughs> is long black hair, uh, with a small ponytail tied in the back. Uh, very muscular. Uh, this is a hobgoblin. Can I help you? Uh, yes, we were hoping to purchase a ship. He steps around to the desk, an almost military-like step. It's it's very much a march, a uh, marching walk that he takes. You are looking to purchase. What are you looking to purchase? We need something. I... Need something on the larger side, but uh, main main cargo is going to be a couple passengers. And by a couple, I mean quite a few. So we don't need cargo space. We need passenger space. Are you looking for some kind of yacht or something? Uh, similar, but also. Uh... It would be good if it had uh, defenses. He opens the book and places it down and flips a page, and you can see multiple types of ships, like different hulls. You see frigates, long ships that are seem to be pa- powered by paddling. Uh, you see massive galleon warships. Ooh. Uh, is talking happening, or did Discord shit the bed? No, talking is not happening. Okay. So he was looking at a, a book with different models of... He's poles. showing you different models of ship, because you all seem to not know what you want. 
Ah. Uh, so basically, we need a larger ship that can sustain uh, long. Uh, he spanks you in the face again. There's a brief pause. Right. Uh, so there's. We need to carry a lot of passengers over a large distance through waters that most likely won't be friendly. He brings his finger over and points at the longship. So that then. Long ship can hold uh, a pa has a passenger size of a hundred people and has a cargo capacity of ten tons, but it is slow. Well, actually, it keeps up with the sailing ship. So, so like a uh, big ship holds all we need. That seems. Uh... Yep. Exactly what we need then. Forty crew, hundred passengers, ten. Yeah, that's a that's a big boat. It's a big, big boat. boy. He has a crew capacity of forty people. We don't need yep. one that big. Except, here's the question. From my recollection, all of the auntie and snake people in general we have like 200 plus I thought, like, I thought there was thought less there was than like 50. that yeah. there's like 60 okay. okay then I'm definitely remembering incorrectly. they are a very dying breed because they have, to, they have to live their life in a single cavern okay oh okay. they want, that's why they want to leave and I understand that's why they want to leave. I just thought it was like 200 plus. No, it's like 60. Oh, so we have plenty of space, but we're definitely going to have to stock up on a crew. Yeah, we do. <laughs> you can, you can run the ship on far less. It has a capacity to hold crew of 40 plus 60 plus 100 passengers. Oh, but how how many do we need to actually like make the? Oh, requires at least twenty crew. I understand that. Yeah, I just have it to requires at least twenty crew, <laughs> and if you have twenty crew and twenty crew alone, including you guys, it will not be running at night. Hmm. We'll just... uh, I heard it won't be. It will not run at night. So oh, okay, you yeah. will do shifts and then go to sleep, and the shift the ship will just have to drift. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, Russell, in your experience, how expensive is it to hire a crew? <laughs> it entirely depends on the crew. You can get uh, excellent crew uh, that maybe had a less than stellar past for cheaper. You can also uh, get a warship. I'm just saying. Like, how hard is like it to map, learn like to pilot one of these things? You get a galleon. Though, Arx is unconscious. This is out of character. We're working on getting an airship. Yeah, then we don't have to buy that. That uh, long strip is. Well, we gotta get over the ocean to get the airship. Yeah. <laughs> The the uh, air city possibly. Oh, you're also buying a base ship. Too. You're not buying weapons. You're not buying. You're buying bare bones for the ship. You can then upgrade it, but you're you, what you're essentially doing is buying the bare minimum of what the ship needs to be a ship. Uh, does. The um, warship have a. Never mind. I just found it as soon as I started to ask. Also requires at least twenty crew. Almost any ship that you're going to use to transport this many people will require that many crew members. Yeah, I, I just wasn't sure. 
what the, the actual requirement was. Um, technically, that fits everybody. Um, and it gives us defense as a base, so... It, it big boy ship. Yeah, I would definitely lean towards this one, but this page doesn't tell me the cost of that. Which, uh, which, what are you looking at? The, the warship. Oh, yeah. I think they're 35,000 gold. Oh, fuck. Sailing, the sailing and long ships each are respectively 10,000. Um, and this I will, is all I will put this at a base, I will put this at a base of 30,000 gold, because you're not getting weapons and armaments. That's right, the warship is 25,000. The galley is 30,000. Oh, yes, the galley. Sorry, I'm thinking of changing ships. Yes, so 25,000. Or, no, sorry, 20,000. And you can so we... upgrade it with catapults or other things for the other 5,000. The galley is like a big ass, like, um. So, a warship, kind of, kind of imagine a, a, like, a destroyer. A galley is a aircraft carrier. Sort of. Galley is closer to like a um. It's only it's, it's thirty feet longer, which is definitely bigger. It's thinner though. It's thinner. It's a um. The galley is like a like a Viking longship. I was trying to put it in modern perspective where people would know what those two ships are. Sorry. Galley only has uh. Like really, like uh, really big size longship, of which, like... forty. Yeah, they are not getting the galley because. You know, it takes forty people to run the galley. By the way, yeah, the galley has a crew of eighty. At least on D and D Beyond, it does. Yeah, it takes forty to fucking run it. It's a big boy. Then what's a galley ass? What? Galley ass. It's a type of ship. Okay. Or am I crazy? That's the galley with a fancy thing at the end. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you mean galleon or uh okay so all right so run me through the okay so warship you're saying is two thousand for the base twenty thousand five thousand oh yeah Twenty thousand for the base, five thousand for the base, and five thousand for the armor for armaments. Um, so, so you the, would get the weapons on the sheet. You would get the 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 ballista, and you get the ballista, the the ram, and the mongol uh, mongols, <laughs> which is essentially a catapult. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. Um. To no mortar. Wait. To a and remembers that I have. Given her the ability to make arcane cannons. Hmm. So true. Uh, I'm having a hard time finding a decent difference between the warship and the longship because you can still just add armor the to longship the longship. Is only ten thousand. Yeah, it's cheaper, and then we can also add stuff to it, and the stats are comparable. And it's faster. So I, I, I guess I would argue longship then. Yeah, because we don't need a warship. <laughs> Arx is unconscious. He has no. So the difference between the warship and the longship is cargo capacity. Also, the longship really doesn't have any weapons. <laughs> longship has no weapons. No weapons. <laughs> Yeah, Might that's I we, we put them going on. into an area that has been told to you is pirate infested. Yes, which is that, that's why I'm saying that it'd be cheaper to get the long ship, just nick some of the cargo capacity, and then there's throw in not enough cargo capacity on the long ship to nix. We could go with the sailing ship. Same price, weapons. Thing is, it only has twenty passengers, like twenty like passengers by default, but that's like. Nice living, like twenty passengers means like you have like a solid bed and like somewhere to stay. You're gonna need um, capacity for all of these people, right? But between the lower deck and the hold, there is space for people. 
it wouldn't be nice. But if they had like sleeping rolls and whatnot, they you're could on be... a multi-week trip. I'm I telling know. you this I'm not right saying now. This is a good option. I'm saying it's an option. You, it is not an option if you want those people to make the life. Mm. And I'm trying to avoid having a situation where you guys buy a ship that you can't use and then getting halfway there and, and me going, well, people are dying of disease. <laughs> so, so are you basically just saying buy the warship? Because if you're saying buy the warship, then we'll just buy the warship. I'm telling you that you, you either need the warship or the longship. <laughs> but when I said longship, you guys were like, no, 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 it won't work, won't work. It just doesn't have weapons is the problem. We could put a ballista on it in theory because those are very easy to just I mean, like... you have Prudence and Martin who could shoot fireballs and stuff. True. Am I a joke to you? Yes. And Gregor. Arthas is unconscious. <laughs> and All Arthas. the no tieflings can just and like Varys. launch magic <laughs> and Prudence can just build. Everybody... Everybody except Artoria can sling a high damaging spells. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Arcs, Arcs could, is, but he's Arcs, a, is, yeah. Arcs is harmless. <laughs> he can't injure a fly. Oh, I know you have Kona Cole. Ar Arcs Arcs is harmless. Harmless. Artoria yes. just needs to take some of uh, Prudence's. Um, oil, set it on fire, and just throw it at enemies across on other ships. Yes, be give fun. Artoria Molotovs. <laughs> what could go wrong with her minus two decks? <laughs> so, do you want the warship or the longship? Do we have the money for the warship? We could put down payment. I don't know about whatever you guys accumulated in past How much uh, is it? Quest. It would be for, the warship. for just the warship as a base, it would be 20,000 gold. And to upgrade it to its weapon cost would be 25,000. I mean, we just got 10,000. Let me check Prue's. Artoria has 14,000. Okay, so we're 24. Uh... How much do I have? Uh, I can put down um, 200 has gold. 10,000, but she wants that for stuff. Gonna... I could put down 400. <laughs> and this is not including a crew. We have to pay people to make the thing not sink. <laughs> Damn, what happened to the, like, 20,000 plat we got? You bought uh... a 50,000 gold sword! It's on your bank! <laughs> no, I also, spent... Also, you happened to lose a snap. Yeah, we did lose a snap. We had a lot of it. <laughs> Smile. Also, <laughs> when I bought my sword, snap I very himself. explicitly only used 600 of my platinum. No snaps did not lose gold. himself. Yes. Orin just has 7,000 gold on him. <laughs> and that was also the first time Artori had spent any of the platinum they'd gotten from way back then. The first time she'd spent a major chunk, I should say. So what are you guys going to do? We can't afford the warship. We have to go with the longship. I argue that we put a down payment for the warship. Prudence could deck out the longship. But we just figured out that we can only fit one thing. The tops. Prudence is magic. Including in space. Cut 
because like Build it, it makes sense that it would fit, especially because there's a cargo capacity of ten tons. But the cargo capacity is not on the deck. Weapons don't have to be on decks. Weapons are just massive ballista. I don't know any of those stats. I just know that, like, like whatever the, the name of those weapons are, I just know that weapons could technically be added on. So, to put it in perspective, most ships have designated areas where weapons are placed. Yes. The longship has no such designated spots. You'd have to gut the ship and rebuild it. Which yeah. would take an incredible amount of time, and we're trying to make the haste. Space to have ballista below deck. Correct. We do not have any ports in the side below deck in order to open up and fire upon other enemies. There is only so much square footage on the top deck that we can place weapons and arms. Okay. So with that explanation, it makes sense. A great deal of cargo capacity. With actually, you don't have a lot of cargo capacity at all with the long ship. Right. It's We're a ship that... built for speed. It's a ship built for speed and to carry a lot of people. In fact, in the description, it said its main use is transporting like large amounts of soldiers. And, like means... that, that kind of thing. <laughs> Which means it's usually protected by other ships. Yep. Yes. For the sole reason, it is very lightly mm -hmm. armed and armored. Because it is meant for troop transport, whereas other ships are designed to be surrounding it, providing the armor and armament. Yeah, I still say that we go for worship then. We we can't get a worship. We don't have the money. You technically have the money. We do. We you yes. have you have ten. You just said. Oh, you have okay. Ten. We're very close. Oh wait, yeah. We can get ten thousand gold. You can't afford the worship. We can get the gutted worship. That's true. You can get the full worship. Actually, yeah, because you have over thirty thousand gold in your party. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, Martin, that's right. I forget you said. No. That. Erendris! Oh! Erendris, Artoria okay. and Prudence. I didn't Along catch... With the 10,000 gold that we just got is Does enough Arndris... to buy a fully decked out warship. Does Erendris still have most of his uh, plat Erendris has, or... I just checked, has 6,000 something gold. 6,988 gold. Where the fuck did all our gold go? Okay. Uh, it went with Snap. Was it, yeah. Did Snap have all of it? No, snap. but you divided it in five, and then you spent a bunch of it, and then lost the Snap. So you yeah. lost 20,000 gold. Yeah, literally, Snap had over 2,000 plat on his person. I didn't realize everybody had spent over, like, 10,000 of it. That was just my misunderstanding. Okay. Uh... So the deck that worship then? Whatever money Prudence has left over, she's just getting stuff in which to make more stuff with, and we'll probably get bored and start fucking with the things on the boat. We need an accommodating. We need an accommodating crew. <coughs> so, 10,000 from what you just made. Mm -hmm. Artori, you have how much? She is putting in 14,000. Okay. So, 24,000. We need 1,000 more. I can put in 200. Prudence has so Aaron just many thousands. Okay, okay. And I will DM an executive decision and fuck with the player who's not here's gold. <laughs> to move this along. I mean, to be fair, this was kind of the 
the plan. party's goal to begin with. Yeah. So I don't think he would have much issue with that. Yeah, Pr Prudence has a bunch of, like, thousands she could throw at. So how much is needed from Prudence? Uh, we're at 25 now. We're good. You can hire the crew! Okay. <laughs> you will need to stock the ship with food and yeah. water and mm -hmm. ammo mm -hmm. and get a crew. And wine or ale. Uh, I got that covered. I got my jug. Because, well, true. It's going to need more than that. Because <laughs> it's per day. <laughs> you don't drink water on boats, you drink wine. That's a uh, you, you drink both. <laughs> you drink both. Rum. Watered down wine. So, to, I think now that you've purchased the ship, I'm going to say we'll end the session here. Woo! Mm -hmm. So, you have a ship that is purchased and is being prepared. It's it to be picked up in Corinthian. Yes, yeah, be picked up in Corinthian. They're going to send the missive via magic. The frame already exists. They're just going to basically shove the boat into the frame. <laughs> uh, were we given an approximate of how long it would take? Uh, it will be ready by the time you reach Corey. Okay. If you left in the morning. Oh, cool. Okay. Because it is a three-day walk to Corey. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great session, guys. <laughs> Glad I could help. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, good. Are they? I don't. I feel like he's gonna wake up and they're just gonna be gone. <laughs> I mean, that means we have a star back. I forget, did we ever talk about our plan with Ferris? Like, did we ever say, like, hey, we're gonna go get a boat if you want to come, or anything like that? No, nope, just nope. Uh, that you were gonna nope. meet in the morning. Well, it's not okay, morning, so yeah. we did, we did, we did say we we're gonna meet in the morning, though. Okay. It's technically 1 a.m. <laughs> it's technically the morning. Um, we will do the hiring of the crew, the purchasing of the food, and all of that off-camera. To okay. save from financial... Oh, yeah, it's good. <laughs> but we will yeah, end that here for tonight because Peyton has to be a bitch and go to sleep early. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, work on Saturdays is a bitch. Nah, I just have to go help my brother move. Yeah, work on Saturdays is a bitch. And yeah. then we're playing Dark Souls. We'll play Dark Souls eventually. Oh, I, I can't do the Dark Souls voice, damn it. <laughs> That thing, give it here. Your dark soul. So there are one, two, three, four, five, wait. Five. So there's seven, eight, four plus. So we need a minimum. Well, let's see 20 roll. Wrestling, what's your AC? What? Um, that's a good question. Uh, it is... 18. Yeah, no, you get decked in the face. Oof. <laughs> I can create 8 gallons of fresh water a day with the alchemy jug. Which isn't, like, a nut. Uh, you know, definitely not enough for no, everyone. Definitely everyone. not enough for everyone. For, for a laborer and a, who is a laborer, you need at least a gallon of water per person a day. Yeah. So that's... I can cover, like, us with the alchemy jug. We just have to, have to get enough for the crew. <laughs> you don't want to also rely on that. You want enough for have everyone. A backup. Have also. a backup. <laughs> just to be safe. Also, fruit. Yes. Scurvy. Yep. Are you scurvy dog? So I think I will end the stream here.
Alrighty. Yes. And we will be back next week. Woo! Bye. S -s 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 -